take your legs straight out in front of you. Now I said in my previous show we're going to do some footwork. So if you were doing all that with your socks or shoes on, now's the time to take them off. And look at your feet. I'm going to show you some things you can do with your feet you probably didn't even realize. When you just put your hands beside you like this so you can support yourself, just flex your feet. Pull your toes towards you. Push through your heels. Now point your toes. Flex your foot again. There you go. Your feet, both your feet. And point. Okay, so from here, keep your feet in a pointing position. Then we add a move of pulling the toes back. We call that flointing. So it's a cross between flex and point. So you have a floint. Yeah. And spread your toes. Floint those feet. And now relax them. And just shake them out. Just shake them out. Good. All right, so now we're going to bend your right knee. I want you to bend your right knee and bring your right foot into your right hand. Good, pick it up. And we're gonna play and we're gonna work on this right foot. So you first cradle your knee. Bala dolikasana, it's baby cradle. Dolika in Sanskrit is cradle. Bala is baby or child. Good. And then we set the right foot on top of the thigh. And you just grab your foot for a minute. Just give it some pressure with your, some. Squeeze with your hands, creating a little pressure on it. And then take your left hand, place it on the top of your foot, and just pull your toes, the top of the foot, you're bending, you're pointing it, but this time you're not using the muscles of the foot, you're using your hand. The, the hands help to point your foot. And then your hands help to flex your foot. And then you point and flex and pull back and forth, yeah. This is where I love to say, grab your toe, the big toe, and start to turn and twist. And this is where I like to say, this little soybean went to yoga. This little soybean stayed home. This little soybean did down dog. And this little soybean did none. And the last little soybean omed all the way home. But all the soybeans got a pedicure. <laughs> So I want you to massage the bottom of your foot with your thumb. So if you can see in the, in the, on the television, I'm pushing the bottom of my, right at the base of my toes with my thumbs. You know, the, the whole thing about reflexology, and they say the whole ma map of our body is on the bottom of our foot. So up above the toes is up to do with around our head, sinuses. You move down into the chest and heart and shoulders, and then you're massaging the top of your foot. And then down to the, sole, the soft tissue, don't press too hard here. It's, it correlates with your, your abdomen and your torso. Good. And then down to the heel. That's getting down into your hips and parts of the legs. The spine runs on the outside of your foot. So I'm not an expert in reflexology, but I have gone to reflexologists who have worked on my feet that if I've had an issue with my, actually with my feet or even with my back or my, uh, something to do with my indigestion, digestive system, it helps, it really does. Reflexologists are amazing. They can do amazing work on your feet. We so much ignore our feet. Now what we do is you'll pick your foot up. You don't have to, uh, you can pick it up and I'm just squeeze the heel a little bit like that. And this, this tendon here is called the Achilles tendon, massage on either side of it. They say that if you're expecting in the next couple weeks, if you're pregnant and you're expecting, this is where the midwife will massage. When you go into labor, they'll massage this to help you give birth, help with the birth. Now let's take a, make a fist and rub the bottom of your foot. Yeah, just make a nice, this, uh, this helps create circulation in the bottom of your foot. And then we do a little tap, just sort of tap the, from the heel notice when you do this, is there any places on your foot that feel, have a little more tenderness to them? Just pay attention. This is an opportunity for you to look at your foot while you're working on it. Yeah. Good. And then shake your hands out and just slap your foot. Feels really good. Waking it up. You know, so many times we just put our socks on, put our feet in our shoes, and we never look at our feet. We don't really pay attention to them. This is an opportunity for you to give them a little bit of a treat. And then take your ankle, hold your ankle with your hand. Watch this and just shake your foot out. Just let the foot be really loose and shake it. Yeah, good. And we have the other side. Yay, so straighten out your legs. That one foot's a happy foot. There's a movie called Happy Feet. I don't know if you saw it, but it's a wonderful movie about these, this uh, 
Emperor Penguin, it's a cartoon, but he, can, he dances and he has happy feet. So we're giving you some happy feet here. Giving yourself some happy feet, taking time to give your foot a massage. Good, so we first open up, we do this baby cradle because it helps loosen our hip. So we can hold our foot with, on the thigh without having too much discomfort, yes. And then place your ankle on your thigh. And again, earlier we pointed our foot, but we used our leg muscles to do that. You're gonna now use your hand Oh, pull that foot, you're pointing it. And then when you push it away, that's a flex. Do that a couple times. Use your hands, stretch the top of the foot. You're stretching into the ankle. And then forward and back. Good. Okay. And then again, grab the big toe. You can say to yourself that little soybean story, going to yoga, not. But definitely all the toes get a pedicure good for your feet. If you, um, like I said, I, I go every month before the show and I, I love it. It's such a good treat for the feet. All the way down. But you give your own foot massage. It's, like I said, it gives you an opportunity to look at your toes, to look at your whole foot, to see what anything you're changing on your feet. Excellent. And then we massage the foot, putting the, the thumbs at the base of your toes, fingers at the top, yeah. So and you can vary your foot massages. Sometimes I'll put my fingers between my toes, sometimes I won't, but just make sure you get some um, stimulation and movement and, and pressure into your feet and your toes. You could do this every morning before you take your shower, after your shower, or before you put your shoes on. Just give your feet a little care, yeah. Excellent, because you know you're helping your whole body when you start your feet. They're our foundation. And when they're not happy, parts of the other body of our body are not happy. Now, make a fist and you rub the bottom of your foot. And then with your knuckles, just knock it, top, tap it. Yes, good. Shake out your hands and slap it. Ooh, that feels so good. I hope you're trying. And now grab your ankle and shake it out. There you go. All right. Happy feet.